All right, what's going on guys? So today I want to talk about being alone. Now, a lot of people think being alone is a bad thing, but it's really not. Being alone is probably the best thing that can happen to you when you're going through your spiritual awakening. And I'm not talking about being alone in a relationship. I'm talking about like just spending time alone for yourself. Because even if you're in a relationship, you still need time to yourself to focus on what you want to do and meditate and focus on yourself and love yourself because that's the main thing that a lot of people lack nowadays. A lot of people don't love themselves. That's why they want want to buy all this stuff to impress people and none of that is ever going to make you happy. All you have to do is love yourself and you can manifest anything you want. So when I realized this was in 2018 in 2018 to 2019 i went through my spiritual awakening and i opened my third eye and and there was nobody else who i knew that was talking about any of this and you know i really felt alone when there's nobody talking about this that you know you feel really alone and it might suck but when you look at it from a different perspective it's actually the best thing that can happen to you because that's the universe trying to tell you that you need to work on yourself and stop wasting time. And that was one thing that helped me a lot because I was wasting time going to parties and hanging out with friends that I wasn't spending time to myself. And that's one thing school will never teach you. School doesn't tell you about meditation. School doesn't tell you about astral projection. School doesn't tell you about the law of attraction, manifestation, none of that. You got to find out all that on your own. And that's why uh being alone is a good thing because when you're alone you can do research on your own and if you think about it you came into this world alone and you're gonna die alone like nobody is gonna die with you so that's just something to think about you know focus on yourself spend time with yourself and you can attract anything you want so what i did was i would meditate every day and try to astral project as well and when you're meditating just think about what you want and what you want to do and try to be in a peaceful place and just focus on what you want and it'll come to you. You'll start getting a lot of good ideas and a lot of thoughts are going to start coming into your head, a lot of positive thoughts. And another thing you can do is go for walks outside. So going for a walk outside or riding your board outside or riding a bike outside can really help you a lot to clear your mind and to be in a more peaceful place because the whole point of life is to live peacefully and stress free because stress is man made stress comes from society stress is not natural and if you notice stress causes your immune system to fail it causes a lot of bad things to happen to your body so it's a psychological weapon that they have on us and time is a big factor for that but i'll get into that in another video so just try to be as stress-free as possible and meditation will help you a lot with that and another thing is talking in general reduces your frequency and your vibration so if you want to astral project or if you want to raise your vibration just don't talk that day you know, just observe everything. The smartest people aren't the ones who talk a lot. The smartest people are the ones who observe everything. And once you do that, you'll realize that you, you're not supposed to wake anybody up. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about is a lot of times when we wake up, like we just want to tell everybody everything like, bro, the food is GMO. You know, they're, they're lying in school. The planet is bigger than we think they're spraying chemtrails like if you tell somebody all this stuff all at once they're gonna think you're crazy <laughs> and that's that's normal for people to think you're crazy because you know people fear what they don't understand so let me repeat that it's okay to be called crazy because people fear what they don't understand and they get confused when they don't understand something so obviously if they don't understand what you're saying you know, I'd rather say understand because understand means you're not understanding it. But understand means like 
your inner self uh, gets what I'm saying. Your inner self resonates with what I'm saying. So don't even bother trying to wake up bots. You're only going to waste your energy. You're only going to hold yourself back. And that's one thing I had to learn, you know, after a while on my own because I tried to wake up so many people and no matter what you do or what you say, like you can have all the facts and research and everything right in front of their face and they still won't be able to process it because their mind has been programmed for so long that it, it literally takes some people weeks or months or years to process these things and you know it took me a year to really process everything that is going on and it takes time you know you can't force anybody to wake up they have to do it on their own but what you can do is just leave little uh little hints and little little facts here and there like how fast food is very bad by the way fast food is probably human meat for all we know so you can just tell people little things and they'll go do their own research and i feel like that's better too because when people do their own research they come to their own conclusions rather than um you telling them everything and then them having to accept it so just think about that when you're trying to wake people up because it's not worth it's not worth wasting your time either because you can be like nobody is where they want to be spiritually like what do i mean by that is like like right now even though i'm more and i, I hate to compare spirituality because people will say that they're more spiritual than you when you know nobody knows who's spir more spiritual than who but i could be more spiritual than i am right now and i'm not content with where i'm at you know we all have to grow on our own so let people have their own path and you just have to work on yourself and focus on yourself and also the best way to wake people up is with actions rather than words because actions do speak louder than words so if they see that you're not eating meat as much you know you're not eating fast food you're meditating a lot you're focusing on yourself you're not wasting time you know you're focusing on your career and you're having fun while doing it then people are going to look at that and they're going to be like, wow, what is he doing? And, you know, I want to be like that. So they're going to come up to you and ask you. And this is the perfect opportunity to wake somebody up is when they ask you something. You know, the only, the only way for somebody to wake up is for them to want to wake up. And once people start asking you questions, that's when you can wake people up. Because if they're willing to wake up, then it's simple you know you could just tell them what you know trying to tell somebody that they're in a matrix while they're in the matrix is not going to help them <laughs> like they're just going to be more confused and you're basically saying that everything they've ever been told everything they've seen has been a lie and that is too intense for some people some people literally can't handle that so that's another reason why you shouldn't try to wake people up either because it could be a bad thing you can make somebody suicidal if you really tell them everything all at once if they weren't ready to handle it. So that's what I try to tell people. Like, you know, it's cool to know that Hillary and all these people are, you know, eating children and doing all these sacrifices. But, you know, don't dig, dig too deep into that. Like, you're only going to get more depressed. Like, okay, we know how screwed up it is. Now, let's focus on ourselves and build from there because the only way you can change reality is to change yourself so focus on yourself change yourself and then you can change the world drop a like comment subscribe and i'm out